Okay, boys. I'm gonna use my Lego here to get you boys some soup. Oh my gosh, kill me now. Hey, welcome to our scene on Liddell Syndrome, represented by this mother here who's going to get some soup with the ladle. Ladle for Liddell Syndrome. And this is really convenient that this ladle over here actually looks like a nephron. And the part that she's holding onto over here is the collecting duct. And we'll explain why. But first, let's take a look at her boys over here who are really embarrassed to have her as a mother. And it's hard to blame them. So these boys are sitting here waiting for their soup. But we notice that on the table over here, they have these dominoes. These dominoes show up in our autosomal dominant videos, as Liddell syndrome is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion. Okay, let's go back to this mother here. This mutation affects the collecting duct of the nephron, and that's why over here, she's holding on to the collecting duct, and there are these salt shakers that are magically popping out of it. This helps us remember that the mutation in Liddell syndrome leads to an increased sodium reabsorption in the collecting tubules. So these salt shakers are going to represent sodium, and the fact that they're coming out of the handle over here is going to help us remember that sodium is reabsorbed in the collecting tubules in Liddell syndrome. And this is what leads to the symptoms. Let's take a look behind her. She likes to hang up these things in her kitchen over here. She likes to hang up a blood pressure cuff. I don't know why she likes to do that, but the high blood pressure cuff is going to help us remember the increase in blood pressure seen in Liddell syndrome. Well, of course, if there's reabsorption of sodium, water will follow, blood pressure will go up. And this explains why renin and aldosterone are decreased. Next to the blood pressure cuff, she likes to put a picture of this baseball game. But she doesn't have a picture of the whole game, she's just showing the base. This guy's trying to slide to home base. Base is going to help us remember base, metabolic alkalosis. Liddell syndrome presents within a metabolic alkalosis. Well, let's take a look on the floor, because she's about to trip on something. She's about to trip on two things. The banana, bananas in our videos represents potassium. And the fact that it's low and she's about to step on it helps remember the hypokalemia, the reduced potassium in the body. In Liddell syndrome, potassium ends up in the urine. In Liddell syndrome, there's going to be a hypokalemia, but she's also about to step on the top of this Waldo stone, the Waldo stone or the Aldo stone. Aldosterone also is decreased, as we mentioned. Which is interesting because Liddell syndrome presents similarly to hyperaldosteronism. It increased blood pressure, the hypokalemia, but the interesting thing is that aldosterone is nearly undetectable. How do we treat Liddell syndrome? Here we see this meal over here in the kitchen that's going for a ride. A meal going for a ride for a milleride. A milleride is a potassium sparing diuretic which is used in the treatment of Liddell syndrome. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our incredibly weird scene over here on Liddell syndrome. Please subscribe to the channel and take care.